Vogue. Let your body move to the muse. I need to stop. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I don't know if this camera's even recording because it's a new one. Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. You're probably like, hun, what is this video? Is, is there drive with me in theory? Is there drive with me Starbucks? But also, I have a little notepad here. Well, there's the pen. That last year I wrote 10, I think, goals. Um, but I haven't looked at it. I haven't looked at it in a while. So what I'm gonna do is look at the 10 goals I set myself last year in January, tick off whichever I have achieved, and then set myself 10 new goals. That's the premise of the video today. Also, please explain to me why my window wipers are that loud. Because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. They're not wiping away anything, really. <sighs> if anybody knows how to quieten, quieten? That's definitely not a word. My, <laughs> my goal for 2021 should be learn better English. Um, but if anybody knows how to quieten window wipers, let me know. Leave a comment because mine are too loud. Still really not sure what I want. I'm fancying, like, I, do they do strawberries and cream but warm? Maybe that's a question. Um, I do have the Starbucks app, so I might pull over and look on the Starbucks app. What was that? I'm sorry. That was disgusting. I can't believe I just did that. Uh, uh, uh. Just went on, like, featured. Didn't I just say, I wonder if they do, like, a strawberry and cream but hot? Strawberry and vanilla oat latte literally a theater drink honey and hazelnut oat latte and dark 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 cocoa cocoa co co cocoa do you know when you see cocoa does anybody else just be like is that cocoa cocoa again get better english get better english um anyway i i went on the app and then was like instantly like oh okay i know what i'm gonna get Hello, please could I get a- It's a horrible day Horrible day Horrible day I really need a wee as well I've really not become Become prepared Become prepared Come prepared Come prepared Become prepared Did you hear how loud that just was? Oh my goodness There is no need There is no need There is no Why am I shaking? Does anybody else just shake? Am I even shaking? Also, look at the quality. Focus, not focus, focus, not focus, focus, not focus, focus. Oh my god, imagine Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Let your body move to the muse. I need to stop. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn this camera off because I clearly can't be on my own with this camera. So, see you when I've got my drink. I'm back. Woo! Woo! Right. Moment of truth. Oh my God, that is exactly what I wanted. Strawberries and cream. Vanilla. Strawberries and vanilla. Cream. Same thing. But warm. It's really hot, which is kind of unusual for Starbucks. Starbucks isn't normally like 110 degrees, but this is hot. Like, like quite, like I can't drink it straight away hot. She said while taking another sip and then burning her mouth. Logic. Right. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I'm actually kind of excited. I did like kind of quite a few. Clearly at the start, I'm going to just move you this way a little bit because I feel like my steering wheel is taking over. There we go. I feel like that is a better shot. Um, so yeah, I clearly was in a bit of like a 2020 is going to be my year on this this page. And then I was like, okay, 2020, scratch that because COVID. So 2021 was like, this is going to be my year. And then COVID just carried on. Here, 
make Ibiza happen. That was my number one goal. Did it happen? No. No, it did not. But that is still going to be my goal for 2022. And there was kind of like a glimmer of hope that we might have been able to have gone last year. Life got involved and it didn't happen. But 2022 is going to happen and I'm going to get on that plane. I'm going on holiday. That is first goal. So let's start writing it. New Year resolutions 2022. Also, I have atrocious handwriting. Do I care? No, I don't. I'm still writing it. I'm still showing you it. If you have horrendous handwriting, just get on board. Get on board. So, number one, go abroad. I'm not going to put make Ibiza happen because it might not happen, but go abroad. I know COVID, but just go into like Ireland classes abroad, maybe. My next goal was to leave my job my workplace um which i have done i have left uh however i wouldn't say career wise i am where i want to be so i think i should make that a goal for this year a goal for this year is maybe not to be in the career i want to be in but be on that road so be working towards my career goal that is my second one i think work towards career goal as well it's kind of open and I think that's going to be another goal for me this year. I put like quite a lot of unnecessary pressure on myself. And then I'm like, why have I not achieved anything? And sometimes I think I've seen, if you, I, I might have been like Stephen Bartlett. Uh, I think that's his name. Stephen Bartlett, it is, yeah. Um, I saw, obviously he's done the uh, Diary of a CEO with uh, Grace Beverly, Molly May he's done loads alex george that was a good one the um mental coach mental health coach mental health not coach mp the one the guy of love island who's doing a lot for mental health his one was really good they are long they are a commitment but they're so worth it and he had a i think it was like a quote or something on instagram about don't look at it as like a huge thing because then you never get started just see it as like a step by step so yeah read or rich dad poor dad um that was a book that i was really invested in at the time uh it is a good book it's all about like investment and how to make your money work for you i didn't actually keep that resolution i didn't read it i did start to read it and it was really interesting just didn't finish it so i think actually i know i'm doing them like as i go along but i think that's going to be my goal um not necessarily i've lost my pen see this is what i mean i don't want to set myself up for downfall i would like to say i would read a book a month but i kind of know that i'm not going to do that but i have started reading i've started reading daisy may cooper's um i think it's an autobiography i always get that mixed up but i'm pretty sure it's an autobiography and it's hilarious i really recommend it i'm i'm only like three chapters in and it's hilarious so i think i'm just gonna set maybe i should set like a number what's a good number i mean i'm setting 10 resolutions so read 10 books read 10 books this year i think that's a good one to some people that might be like 10 i could read 10 in a month but to me i never read i never set that time time i never set that time aside to be like right i'm gonna read like i get into bed and i just scroll through instagram mindlessly and this year i'm gonna be like no no more mindless scrolling we're gonna start reading before we go to bed instead of scrolling because the blue light the sleep the head it's not needed my fourth goal my fourth resolution let's have a drink let's have a drink break actually drink break everybody get a drink still really hot really nice really recommend that my next goal was to manifest more i don't know what everybody's opinion is on manifestation affirmations and all of that i mean whatever your opinion is on it to be fair whatever your opinion is on it i think having the mindset of looking forward to your future visualization visualizing what you want 
and not even really thinking how I'm going to achieve it. It's just, this is what I want to achieve. That's basically the ins and outs of manifesting. I think I'm going to make that a goal, maybe not to manifest more because, and I do think I kind of stick to it. I did get, um, this journal i can't remember what it's called but i'll insert a picture of it and it's like three things you're grateful for three things you want to achieve something like that and i do think that helped my mindset because it's so easy to focus on the negative just sometimes those little things you forget about actually make you feel a lot better and i feel like i've gone way too deep oh my god i'm going way too philosophical that's not a word yet again also this camera's lens is here so i'm like i'm not really sure where i meant to look it's like that tiktok anyway goal number four is gonna be live in the moment and be grateful for now to live in the now that's a good one to live in the now i'm getting so deep get your snorkels guys get your goggles we're going in <laughs> goal number five we are halfway through goal number five was start youtube that is something that i've always wanted to do i've always wanted to start youtube and i have i've started it i think it was a sprinkle of glitter louise pet i'm not even gonna try years and years ago she said someone said why did you start youtube or something along the lines of that and obviously louise's mum died when i think she was young or before she was oh, i can't be before she was born scarlet oh my God. and she had no uh video footage nothing of her mum. so she started her youtube because she was like well if i document this and i was to die then my um i guess my my children my daughter obviously she's got I can't remember her daughter's name. I know she once got one's called Pearl. Is it Daisy? Oh, Scarlet. Doesn't matter. So that her family had something to look remember her by. And I just thought that was such a beautiful thing. And so many other YouTubers have I think it obviously depends on your channel. Like obviously if you create like Mr. Beast challenge videos, then your videos are gonna be kind of different. But if you create more like vlogs or talky videos like this one of how you were in that moment there's so many of my videos that even now i watch back and i'm like that was a really great day or time like for example the ritz video um with my mum that's going to be such a lovely video for me to look back on in years to come i guess it's like a diary it's a diary entry and uh number five got a big fat tick and I don't really know what my resolution can be for this year. I guess start an Instagram to go with the YouTube. Because that could be one. I do have Instagram. I have my personal Instagram, but I hardly use it. So maybe, yeah, maybe we make that this year's goal. To start an Instagram to go with the YouTube. I mean, obviously, equally to add to that, I know I do like hauls. And people would be like, well, how, what's looking back on a haul? Obviously that's a little bit different and equally a lot of my hauls are like reviews so on the same vein like i'm reviewing that and i think youtube i mean me personally i watch so many videos that i'm like would i buy from that company well i'll see what people are saying about it before i buy from it anyway point number six trade in stock and i've put here just give it a go and i want to say that number six i have also ticked off i have um trading 212 I don't know loads about trading, so I don't want to say, oh, it's a good app or it's a bad app. One thing I will say is it takes quite a while to execute the sale. So if you are somebody who works quite fast paced, for example, like I know currency exchange, that kind of thing is really fast paced, then it's probably not the right app for you. But if you are like me and you just wanted to start and you just think, I don't even know where to start, um, I put money i just use common sense i guess for example in the pandemic when everything went really low i put money in and i've just kind of left it i think the thing is with trading just don't play with money that you don't want to lose so for example i put 50 pounds into tesla and i recently just sold it at 70 so i made 20 quid it's not like i'm not gonna run home and be like guys i'm a millionaire quit your jobs it's not that kind of money but for giving it a go and making 20 quid I'm not going to make 20 quid with my money just sat in the bank. So I was pretty impressed with that. I guess my next goal of taking it further maybe should be trade more money in it. Let's hit a goal. 
Make a thousand pounds in stock, in trading. Let's go for that. Make a thousand pounds. I think that's a good amount of money. If I made a thousand pounds, I'd be very happy. It might be in twenties and we just do loads of twenties, but if I could make a thousand pounds by the end of 2022 in trades, I'd be pretty impressed. <laughs> Number seven was be more spon be more spontaneous. M my, I am not a spontaneous person. I'm a planner. I'm a planner through and through. Spontaneity terrifies me because. I don't know. I don't know why it does. I just, I guess it's kind of anxiety. Anxiety makes you think of every worst outcome rather than every best outcome. Maybe do I have that as a goal again or do I change it? Because I feel like be more spontaneous and I haven't been, then what needs to change for me to be? Maybe go on an unplanned trip. Maybe that should be something. Maybe I book a hotel in a random town, city and just go that's a good one okay number eight start working in a sector i want to actually be in so i guess that kind of links towards work towards a career goal i'm not there yet though i've definitely taken steps towards it so i would say i kind of half and half achieved that goal i think something that i would like to do this year that's become quite popular especially through 2020 is multiple income streams i guess with trading and having work then that's two income streams but i would like to have them working better for me so i think that's that's going to be my goal for for this year is work on achieving multiple in multiple, blah, 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 multiple income streams i saw something again it might have been like on a stephen bartlett type post but it was multiple income streams is a form of self-care which i thought actually that's very true because if you think about it having one job and only relying on that one job and then say you got fired or something happened covid is a perfect example of that you'll be jobless and you'll have no income and for a lot of people that then leads to like a cycle of being terrified because they only have that one income and if it if something was to happen to it then they have nothing so i think i think i get that and yeah that is the next goal okay number nine seriously look into property and doing a renovation project so yeah last year i didn't document it because it was i think before i had my youtube but i was very very close in buying a property and literally to the point where we were going to ring the agent to say we wanted to put an offer in and it didn't go through um the whole reason why was because i was not i just was like no actually this isn't i i was having a bath and i thought actually this is terrifying and i'm not ready for this this year i feel more ready for it um but i think personally my my self goal this year is to get my career where i want it to be rather than property i'm going to change my goal up a little bit in regards to the one before was obviously work on achieving multiple income streams and this one's a kind of linked to that but kind of different i i don't know if anybody else i have so many old clothes that is ridiculous like ridiculous the amount of old clothes i have so i think i'm actually going to make this goal to be sell the clothes scarlet sell the clothes sell all of those clothes so i am actually just going to put sell all the clothes there's so many apps out there ebay amazon vinter depop it needs to happen so this year i'm going to sell everything and if i don't sell it it needs to go to charity finally we're on the last one my last one was be healthier find a routine and stick to it now i I did get really good. Before we went to Centre Parks, I was really good. I had Shreddy, the app Shreddy. I was doing my workout guide. I was sticking to it. I was skipping. I was being so healthy. And then Christmas hit. And it every, every Christmas, you just fall off the wagon because it's Christmas. And it happens once a year. But I do want to stick to a good routine. Um, I think I'm not going to set myself a routine but I'm going to say I want to work out. I want to break a sweat once a week. Once a week. I know that for some people that might be like, that's nothing. Not even three times a week, five times a week. But if I can say once a week, it's easy to achieve. It's easy to stick to. And then I might actually, you know, if I do more, great. But if I don't, 
I'm not putting like an immense amount of pressure on myself. There you go, guys, by the way. 10 goals, set, achieved. I think setting myself 10 goals and making it achievable to stick to. I mean, obviously I've not set to all of them last year. How many? Like five, I would say five, six, I've kind of achieved from my goals last year. If I, I always say, if I can hit five of my 10 goals, I've done well, that's half. How I look at it is I used to set one resolution and then I would set myself up for failure because it's one thing to stick to and you think, oh my God, Scarlett, that's one thing and you can't even stick to one thing. But life works in like freaking well weird ways. So if you set yourself a goal to stick to one thing and you can't, you feel defeated. Whereas if you set yourself 10 goals and you can achieve one of them, five of them, three of them, whatever it is, if you can achieve a couple of them, at least you've achieved something. I think it makes you feel like a little bit more successful. So I've set myself 10 goals that I want to achieve by 2023. If you want to set 10 goals, if you want to leave your 10 goals in the comments below, if you want to do the same as me and just grab a notebook and write them in it, try not to lose the notebook for a year, then that's also something that you can do. They're my 10 goals. Um, if you enjoyed this video, like I always say, please leave me a like down below. I hope you enjoyed your... Obviously, I don't know if you noticed, but I took a couple of days off um, of my Friday uploads. I hope that you also enjoyed your Christmas, New Year, holiday season break. And you had a good break. You feel well rested. You feel rejuvenated. And you are ready for 2022. I like the sound of 2022. I, I like the look of it. It's just lots of twos. This makes me sound like a psychopath, but if you enjoyed this video, it's been a bit of a rambly one. It's been a bit of a talky one. It's a bit of a different one for me, but this is definitely going to be a video that I look back on and I see how I achieve this year, my mental state, my well, my well-being, my physical state, everything. I feel like this year is going to be a good year and hopefully it is for you too but that's it yeah so subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week for another video bye for now